Now I'm going to take you back into the kitchen where I'm going to teach you how to save melon seeds. It's simple, it's easy, and you should be seed saving as well. So join us in our new seed saving series. So we've got our pulp scraped out. We've got a lot of this uh, pulp here that we've removed, thrown into the sink here. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to take a sieve. Now I've just got a jar that I actually use to ferment my seeds. It's just a typical caning jar. And I've rinsed it out with a little bit of soap and water and then I rinsed it really, really well. I want this to ferment so this doesn't have to be sterile. But I did just do squash seeds, so I wanted that clean. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on just lukewarm water. A little, little bit on the cool side there, a little warm, a little on the cool side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit my jar down in here like this, because I want this juice. And I'm just going to pour my seeds in my pulp right on there just like that. Popping my handle on the side of the sink here. There you go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a little bit of water to that. Just a 50-50 mix of watermelon juice and water. And then here I'm going to go ahead and finish rinsing and taking out the seeds and some of that extra pulp. You can leave the pulp in. All the bad seeds and pulp and all that's going to float to the top anyway. So remember that. The good seeds will float to the bottom after being fermented. And the bad seeds and the seeds that really aren't going to be worthy of planting, they're going to uh, float to the top and you'll be able to discard those right away. Okay, so I'm just rinsing these the best I can, just like that. Get most of that pulp separated from the seeds, that just helps to ferment it a little faster. Okay, take out what pulp you can here. You'll see some of these seeds are white. They're really not going to make it. They're too immature. Okay. Now we're just going to take and we're going to drop the seeds inside the jar just like that. See that? A lot of seeds came out of just one watermelon, one small watermelon here. Here's a good seed here. Okay. Make sure the seeds are down inside that water. There we go. Now as you can see, there's a little bit of the juice in here that will help ferment this. A little bit of the warm water. You could already see where some of the seeds are already floating on top and some of the better seeds are on the bottom. Well, we'll see. You can go ahead and if you want to, you can take some of them seeds out. They're not, they're not going to be any good. If they're floating now, that's just, they're not, they're not going to make it. I don't want that in my seed collection. So I'm going to take out any of the seeds I know that are already floating. There we go. Give them a little bit of a swirl to make sure there's no seeds on the side of the jar. Clean my jar really good so it doesn't get sticky on my countertop. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a piece of plastic wrap, screw on a screw band lightly, it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to take a pair of scissors or a knife, whatever, and I'm just going to poke a couple holes in here. Just like that. Just a couple air holes. Now I'm going to set this aside in a room temperature place somewhere in my kitchen uh, so it can ferment for about 24 to 48 hours. No longer than that or the seeds will dissipate. They'll, they'll go away. They'll be mush. Okay? We just want to get that protective coating off of here. So don't store this in the refrigerator. We want to keep this at about room temperature. So I'm just going to sit it on my microwave and, and forget about it for two days. And we will see you back here then. Meanwhile, you can make some watermelon rind pickles out of these. Mmm. -hmm. And I know that Bear Prepper has a really good recipe for that that I've been wanting to try. So head on over to her site and learn how to uh, pickle watermelon. Watermelon seeds have fermented and it's only been 24 hours. They are ready. We've got some floaters and we got some here that are on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that if I tilt. But this is ready to go. It has an odor to the water. That means it's fermented. We're ready to go ahead and strain this, rinse it, and put it on some paper towel to dry. Now I use just this jar. Now I'm going to rinse in warm water, warm to cool water. Remember there is going to be an odor. You want to pump some soap in there pretty quickly. Ew. 
watermelon seeds can smell. <laughs> Okay, now we're just going to kind of rinse this with a little bit of warm water here. Get all that coating and everything off of there. You can feel the seeds. You can feel that most of that coating is off. You can get rid of any of the seeds that floated on top first, but I find that the smell is pretty strong for me. I have a really good sniffer. Okay, so we're just going to get those good and rinse. Feel them? Oh yeah, most of that slipperiness is off of there. Take and dump that onto a paper plate here. Spread them out. And there you have it, watermelon seeds. These are crimson sweets, by the way. This is Chef and Builder Janie Pendleton, and I hope you subscribe and come along for the ride as we save more garden seeds. And we continue on with our homestead series as well. And Maranatha Minutes, head on over there to do our Bible study with us. We'd love to have you join us. Blessings.